Have you ever wondered if Noah's Ark was real? And if it was, how big was it and what did it look like? Well, you can stop your wondering, as here it is. Well, sort of. This is the Ark Encounter, which is a theme park replica of the Noah's Ark from the Bible, which is an all-wood, life-size Noah's Ark built to the dimensions specified in the book of Genesis. The final dimensions of the replica arc are 510 feet long, 85 feet wide and 51 feet high, which makes it the largest timber structure in the United States and the largest timber frame building in the world. Visitors are able to explore the three decks of the arc, where you'll see a variety of exhibits that will show guests what life might have been like for Noah and his family on the ark including the living quarters and Noah's study. Also, there are wooden cages throughout the ship, with replicas of animals in them, giving you a sense of what it would have been like. Other exhibits on the Ark include animatronics of Noah and his family, their private quarters, common living room, kitchen and food storage areas. All of the animal sculptures, furniture and props have been designed following extensive research to give you a sense of what the Ark might have truly been like. Outside of the Ark, the park also offers zipline rides, a cafe, restaurant, walking paths and garden, and a huge auditorium. Not to mention the petting zoo, with such animals as Tibetan yaks, zebras, alpacas, kangaroos and many others. The Ark Encounter opened in 2016 and is located on an 800 acre site in Grant County, Kentucky in the United States. Construction started on the theme park in 2014 and was finished in 2016 at a cost of $100 million. Although they have been adding new buildings and attractions to the park since then. The entire ship is made of wood, including structural supports and beams, but joined together using metal plates and bolts and is clad together in timber boards which if you laid those boards end to end, there is enough timber in the arc construction to go from Williamstown, Kentucky to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is about 611 miles. And its roof is so long, NASA could park three space shuttles nose to tail on it. Someone asked the question on TripAdvisor.com, how long does it take to do a tour of the arc? Someone replied it took them four and a half hours, but you should expect at least three hours but you can walk through the whole arc in about one hour. The extra time is needed if you read the plaques and watch the video displays. Now I know it's not easy to talk about the iconic Noah's Ark without relating it to religion, but in this story I'm going to try. Because whether you are into religion or not, whether you believe in Noah's Ark or not, does not change the fact that this is one impressive wooden structure and unique theme park based around a topic that almost everyone on the planet has heard of. After seeing how big and how many people and machines it took to make the Ark in modern times, makes you wonder how Noah ever did it. But then again, they built the pyramids without modern machines. I guess if you have enough people, anything is possible. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.